Are we live? Yeah. We are live. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, I want to go live um, on. Um, we still have nobody. I want to go live to TikTok. Oh, okay. Do you have TikTok? Mm, later. No. Mm, yeah. But um, you have, um, how do I say? You have, um, you have um, Instagram. Yeah, I do. So, hi guys. Aha, uh -huh, we are seeing number one. Welcome, welcome, one, welcome all. We are here with our Andrew. Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Meruida and Daniel Nyumba Saseni. You are so much welcome. Come for the tips. Pauline, come out. Is there. Why can we, people, two people are writing and we only seen, ah, now they jumped, six people. Okay, hi guys. How are you? I missed you. I'm back. <laughs> greet them, greet them as I'm oh. <laughs> Hello, hello guys. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Continue, continue, continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. As we promised you guys, uh, yeah, I am back with my story on how I made it. Yeah, I yeah. gave you lunch, you know? You ate, yeah. you have drunk. I'm okay. Let us have some energy. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you come, okay. please, guys, say hi. Uh, give the video thumbs up. And um, we will, we will um, enjoy it. Or we'll have fun. Thank you so much. She says we're looking good. Oh, it's the glory you. of God. So, Maybe. guys, as I'm as I promised you, our guy, as I promised you, our guy is here. And I was going live on TikTok. And um, it's been it's been a lot of hectic. It's been a lot of summer. It's been a lot of a lot of work actually he's my witness we were working even yeah. before we come here yeah. he was playing with the kids we were doing one two three things until we had a babysitter so don't judge me i'm trying and every time i have time every time i get to come and share something with you actually I have a lot of things to share but when the time comes I will definitely be there to you. So this amazing guy is from Uganda. He's here the last four weeks in Germany. The last five weeks. In oh, five weeks. No, so six weeks. Yeah, so it's, six weeks. we just met him in this channel in YouTube. He told me his story. And then uh, we looked away that, like he had all the requirements that you need to come to Germany. And that's how I ended up helping him. And that's why he say, um, is it fair if I say you're here because of Sally Claus? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I don't, I, I don't like bragging, but I, what I can say, this channel has been one of the major role of so many people making in this country and also continuing with their life uh, well. So without wasting your time, welcome uh, TikTok. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Andrew, Andrew from Uganda, and he's here to give his story. So. Yeah. Should we start? Yeah. So introduce yourself. What's your name? Uganda name? Which <laughs> where do you live? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, my name is Antukwase Andrew Kato. Yeah. I'm a twin. The Ugandans know that the Kato is the twin name. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And when I was still living in Uganda, I was living in Mukono, Mukono Chireka. Yeah. Yeah. Mukono Chireka, Kampala. <laughs> Yes, and yeah, last month I made it here to Germany, mm -hmm. and I'm liking it so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, how old are you? Twenty. I'm twenty four this uh, December. I'm making twenty four this December. Ah, yes. So you're twenty three. Mm, yeah. So twenty three. I believe um, when you're twenty three, uh, back in Uganda, back in Kenya, 
you are already and whether you just came from college or you're in university yeah. what where did you start the idea of coming to germany oh actually for me i i studied it a little bit nail like quickly because uh, nobody knows not everybody can understand german okay mm -hmm. like for me the good thing i started i started a little bit fast and by 2020 i had finished my diploma at Jambogo university mm -hmm. yes so oh, okay. yeah so 2021 uh was the year of hustling on the streets of kampala you know working mm. people are not paying you well you know those things of hustling in kampala also when you're just a fresh graduate mm -hmm. yeah 2021 mm. so 2022 is when i said that no 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 enough is enough enough, enough is enough. enough i'm supposed to look for ways on how to make it mm -hmm. because the years are coming by mm -hmm. years are not going back so that's when 2022 is when i started with the actual journey mm -hmm. yeah the fact was uh going like going like to, to know mm -hmm. about the opportunity mm -hmm. and then i took it on yeah okay so um that happened to everybody some of us also happened sometimes when you feel like uh i'm i've done my best i'm not in getting work and the work i'm getting it's not paying me so it gets a time where you say like i wanna i wanna risk exactly. and i think for you it was that uh, time when you said uh so let me know how did the idea you you are back in kampala and you want to come to do germany uh in german to do fsu yeah. Where do you get that information? Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, actually, there is a friend of mine who had traveled mm -hmm. to Germany. So uh, before before all that, I knew because he had talked to me that, oh, hey, my guy traveled, by the way. I was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. For me, I was good with my life back in Uganda. So now when I really saw that, you know what, Andrew is supposed to, change your life you're supposed to to do something this streets of Kampala are not going to take you anywhere that's when i went back to him and i contacted him i was like mm -hmm. bro first please please tell me like how did you make it there maybe i could also join you yeah and he told me the process mm -hmm. and he told me i'm supposed to study mm -hmm. the language mm -hmm. But, and he told me I'm supposed to register at Gotha Institute for the lessons and all that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, I was like, it's okay. The next day I go to Gotha. Mm -hmm. I I looked through it because they gave me a book of the prices, language courses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, studying was really, really expensive there. And I completely had no money mm -hmm. oh, yeah. had no money and the guy told me you can't make it mm -hmm. without the language yeah in germany you, you can't, can't make it without language so mm -hmm. i was like and what's next i went to youtube straight away why didn't you feel like i can't afford this money i don't have the money i don't care ah, let okay. me just continue gardening you know why didn't you give up at that moment because when you go and get the prices of german language it's really expensive yeah mm -hmm. honestly uh i was in the wall mm -hmm. to be honest because the family was looking at me andrew you're a man you've completed your studies so i was in the wall i needed to bring something to the table mm -hmm. so whatever it could take i was willing to risk and i was willing to put in when he told me about the opportunity of germany because first of all this is europe this is not like those arab countries mm -hmm. you this is europe you make it mm -hmm. to germany mm -hmm. how or oh, how still it's considered success let's talk about dubai story. <laughs> <laughs> let us put that story there okay your parents had an idea that you go to dubai oh yeah yeah they were thinking about it yes mm -hmm. my parents and yeah family mm -hmm. because we had some we have also some other relatives who have traveled there mm -hmm. and their life just seems to be great so yeah for me dubai uh the ugandans know it very well that mm -hmm. very many people go to dubai or mm -hmm. saudi arabia those arab countries and they go there and they suffer mm -hmm. 
they so it was not an some of them are even killed yeah exactly so you hear someone uh they took his kidney or what there is not so much that freedom even when you tell someone that you're in dubai Mm -hmm. they don't consider you some like someone who who has really made something for yourself they don't consider it success but if you tell someone that you're in europe in Kenya it's different. I don't know, maybe not, not but every time we had somebody ha- can go to Dubai, for mm. as it was a Maju abroad. Mm. Guys, please like the video, give the video thumbs up, and yeah, comment. Actually, uh, I'm gonna we're gonna check the questions before we leave, and also subscribe, and you can join us on the YouTube, guys. Okay, so so there was no go. You are not going to Dubai. You, it it was wasn't an time. option for me. I told myself, no, 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 no. Okay, we continue. Yeah. Germany is too expensive in Goethe. Gena. And you have to do the language. Exactly. And Dubai is not a solution for you. So from there, you started your research. And this yeah. is something that you guys, I really want you to listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So before I had told, before I, I started, I told my dad that, mm-hmm. you know what, oh. Uh, well, there was an opportunity of going to Germany, this, this, and that. <laughs> and oh, I'm supposed to study the language. So what? What? If you can help me, to him it sounded like oh, some some other disturbance. <laughs> this Jacob. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but for me, honestly, I didn't lose focus. Mm-hmm. I got onto YouTube. I didn't ask my friend where to start. Mm-hmm. I went onto YouTube. I first started. I first searched Google. Mm-hmm. Uh, steps taken to uh, start learning a new language okay i made the book i wrote them down i wrote mm-hmm. them down i wrote them down i, wrote them down. I hope you guys are taking notes so mm-hmm. i started with the alphabet if mm-hmm. i'm to remember i started with the alphabet language yeah mm-hmm. alphabet mm-hmm. we did just we just went to youtube as such mm-hmm. alphabet in german i started with the alphabet i started with greetings alphabet mm-hmm. greetings mm-hmm. days of the week months of the year and counting talent from one like up to 50. Mm-hmm. That was a day. I learned that all in just something like hours. The first day. Yeah, now, exactly. So I went on, I went, I, I, I didn't know how I'm going to do the exam or what, what. I just talked to the guy and told him, you know what, I'm taking up this. So uh, as I was learning, Mm-hmm. I was still going on to YouTube because the guy told me like it was kept a suit. So I searched YouTube uh, from Uganda to Germany. So I found very many YouTubers. That's how I got to know Sally. Mm-hmm. As I was learning, as I was learning, as I was searching opportunities, learning. Honestly, I even used to wake up at night mm-hmm. to read the mm-hmm. language, like self self study. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and thank God. I learned and I started communicating. So how did you start? Did you start with the A1? Uh, okay, for me, honestly, to be to be honest, I didn't have that thing of A1 or A2 or B1 mm-hmm. since I didn't have uh, like what to follow. Okay. I just used to come up with a particulars in my head. Mm-hmm. I'm studying this. I'm studying this. I'm studying this. I'm studying how to say this, how to say this uh, sentence structure. So for me, I was just learning the language, not that I followed levels. Mm -hmm. It was after, now that I wanted to apply, and then I knew that I'm supposed to have a certificate, (laughs) that I went to Gote, Mm -hmm. and there was a platz for A1 Mm -hmm. exam, Mm -hmm. and I applied for it. Mm -hmm. I searched on YouTube, like, how the exams are set. Mm -hmm. I practiced a lot of exams. Wow, in YouTube? From YouTube. And even when you search the web, they are there. Mm-hmm. Uh, A1 exam, expression, mm-hmm. lesson, hearing, all of them are there. Mm-hmm. So I used to practice at, at every end of the week. I used to practice. I learned during the week. The end of the week, I practice. You, exam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you test yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. when is this actually? Uh, actually, I started in February mm-hmm. 2022. Last year. No, last year. Yeah, last mm-hmm. year. And the guy told me Mm -hmm. that you can travel. If you're very serious, you Mm -hmm. can travel in September. Mm -hmm. So I I was just tired of Uganda. So I was just learning very quick, very quick, every day, day and night, day and night, Mm -hmm. to make it that 
by September, I've done the exam and I can up, yeah, out apply. Of Uganda. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get the money for the exam later. But thank God in September is when I got the money to do the A1 mm -hmm. exam. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how I got it now, that's... But now thank God I do the A1 exam. And I you passed. Never, did you do the exams? You paid? Yes, I paid. For uh, the how exam. much? It is 900 Uganda shillings, like 900,000. That is close to 1M. 900,000 shillings, I think. Uganda money. <laughs> I think that's uh mm -hmm. let me see whichever uh maybe it's around ten thousand ten thousand no around a hundred a hundred and twenty euros maybe around two hundred two hundred two hundred mm -hmm. euros yeah wait I think then I have to open a German school what yeah a one yeah that's a lot of money two hundred and twenty-five euros oh my god only a one only a one <sighs> And B1, I'm supposed to pay, but I had to pay more. You see. Oh my God. That's so much. It, is, it was really much. Even in Goethe, Nairobi, we don't. Do we pay to A1? Do we Ac pay? Actually, Goethe, Nairobi is more. Uh, 20,000, not yet. Yeah. 25,000. That's a lot. It was a lot. Because my time, I think we paid around. But that's that 13 years ago, guys. Um, But it was not that much. Okay, let's continue. So you did a one, self study, and then you went and do the exams. Yeah. How do you, how much did you get? Because you are supposed to get sixty pass mark. I passed highly. You know, a ones, all of them were marked out of twenty five. I got eighty nine percent. Eighty nine. Yeah. So that is around. Um, uh, you you had more because you have to get sixty pass mark. Exactly for me, I had. For the one who are coming as a pair, you need to get sixty points. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. for you, it was nine. How many points? Can you remember? Um, you know, for A1, mm -hmm. every every lesson, Schreiben, expression, 20, it is, all it is marked out of 25, and mm -hmm. the Kansas examen, mm -hmm. it makes 100%. Yeah. So for me, I got above 20 is all. Wow. So and it's totally up to 89. 90s. Okay, you pass the A1, and then that was, can you remember the month? No, that Three was months. September. September. So exactly. the whole year you did the A1. I was just for me, I was just reading. <laughs> for okay, for me, it was like this. It was like this. I was the guy told me that to be sure mm -hmm. you go and do a one because you will pass it very well. And still the money for B1 was then you could have done higher. B1. The money for B1 was still also higher. Mm -hmm. And the guy told me A1 is okay. It's good to have it. That's what he told it's me. Good to have it as but well. I could speak much more higher than A1. That one you had was, learned was too really much, sure. but learned you went and do the yeah. small grade. So from September, and then what happened? I apply. Guys, I will I will check the comments. I just want to concentrate. I apply with, mm -hmm. with that guy now. Yeah. But you now remember, all that time, I used to watch your videos. I used mm -hmm. to know that, oh, Sally, Sally, Sally. Whenever she goes like, so now I apply with this guy mm -hmm. somewhere. I still don't know him. He knows me, but I don't know him. For a person. Mm -hmm. Now, oh. Uh, you know, for the institution I applied in, it takes time to 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 to, to reply you. Mm -hmm. So I waited for something like close to two months. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They 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 refused me. Like refused, denied my application. Oh yeah, okay. So now, mm -hmm. actually, when uh, when they took long, I was like, but what if these people refuse to take me? Sally is there. Sally says B1. I'm supposed to have B1. I'm supposed to have B1. I'm supposed to have B1. But I don't have money. Now I received the the abzag, like. But the good thing I continued learning. For me, I had never stopped. Even today. I had never, never, never stopped learning. Even when I did the applications, mm -hmm. I never continue stopped. Continue learning, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm there. When I've received the uh, Absag, yeah, Absag, it's like they are not taking you, yeah. He tried on his own the first time, but then he yeah. was refused, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, somehow, I'm speaking with my sister. My sister, by the way, had also picked up the the, the zeal to learn German, to come to German, yeah, like but, his brother, mm -hmm. yeah. But she now got an, other plans and then she left. Mm -hmm. But by the time she left, she had paid for a one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now what we did, we just went and added some little money. Mm -hmm. And then I was registered for B1. Okay. 
So now that's how I, I do my B1X. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Sa she saved you. Yeah, she really saved me. Because you didn't have money. You're only exactly. learning German. You're exactly. staying at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's why people, if you if you follow your dreams and you do, it's, things just happen. You don't know even how they happen. Mm -hmm. So I I went, I do the B1 exam. When I already received the abzac. Mm -hmm. So thank God I passed it also. I also passed it very well, you... by the way. So September you failed, your application is not taken. Exactly. So plan B is now Sally. Plan B is Sally. <laughs> I was like, oh I my was God. second part. If I knew by then, I would have <laughs> Okay. Now oh, I know yeah. the truth. Oh Fake. yeah. No, no, no. No, I'm joking. Okay, mm -hmm, continue. I'll say why I chose uh to help you. I'll say later on the video. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I I now I, I I think I wrote to you. And okay, I do the exam. Mm -hmm. I think you started appearing on my life's video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before, like before, even when I had not even done my A1 exam for, I used to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you you attached me to Ndumi, remember? Ndumi. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it before the exams? That was before, even before. Exams. Yeah, okay. yeah, before exams. Okay. I remember you telling me, Sally, I'm, I, I want to pay. I'm doing my exam and I, I want to register. That was after doing the, the exam. The exams. Okay, yes. okay. That mm -hmm. was after doing. When I received the certificate like this, I wasn't sure that I'll pass all the things. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very sure because... Uh, I B1 mean, is not for by the way, is it? But thank God the papers came and I passed highly. That's when I texted you the very day I got the results. Tell us when how was the exams B1? I'm sure people they would like to know. Order? Mm -hmm. How was the B1 exams? Just general. How was it? General. Mm -hmm. Generally, I think it was it wasn't that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Needed a lot of preparation. Most especially for me, urine mm -hmm. was very very bad hearing was bad yeah. like li you listen so yeah yeah, not yeah. so much it okay. was and it's the it was my worst performed ah okay how, yeah. how did you I get got how much? 63 63 yeah okay the rest above uh above 70 above 70 expression was 89 89 actually yeah. he can see he can speak so good job expression <laughs> was here, 89 <laughs> I had already seen I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you have filter. Okay. Yeah. Expression was 89. Schreiben mm -hmm. was 79. How, how, how come you're Uganda, you are, you are self, self, uh, self studying and you are speaking so good German? How is that possible? I'm not getting this. For me, I'll Because you have no word wrong German. I'll, ex too. I'll explain it like this. Mm -hmm. Since I was doing self study, like people who used to teach me, teachers used to teach me were actually German. You know when you at go to the, the Ugandan teachers are the one that teach the Ugandans that who not German. For me, even the way the outspark, the pronunciation of the mm -hmm. words I used to get, mm -hmm. like they were from Germans, like Germans. I, from YouTube. From YouTube. Okay. YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. I had also Telegram. I followed Deutsch teachers. For hey. me, I used to I, I used to even listen to Deutsch for leader. For sure, when you want something, exactly. you go for it to get it 100%, yeah. no matter where you come from. He was in the village. Exactly. I'm sure he was fighting with bundles, yeah? <laughs> oh, you had Wi-Fi. Bundles, yeah, Wi-Fi from <laughs> where? <laughs> we all come from bundles. bundles. Yeah, yeah. No, bundles, bundles yeah. yeah. So it's not bad. Because today your, your story is different, you know? Yeah. Doesn't matter how you came, it's what matters what you have done and where you are going. I used to download stories. Mm -hmm. Yes, German stories, Deutsche Lieder songs. Actually, I had you singing with my kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. German songs. My phone was also German. Everything was German. My room, I put charts everywhere, written German. <laughs> I was so so very obsessed. Oh my god! Yeah, like you are, you are really. Yeah. I need to go to this Germany. Exactly. Mm. I cut off myself from all friends, like most of the friends. You cut off. I was yeah yeah yeah. You are because, focused. Yeah, I was really very. And that's very what focused. I I say. You have to know what you want. Yeah. And sometimes you need to do it on your own. Exactly. You need not. You don't need the village. 
and yeah i think i've talked that a lot of time like if you want what you want it's about you not about your friends or your best friend it's you and you alone so you pass your b1 exactly very well yeah and then you start no you searched me before the exam and yeah. then um you, you told me to to get the you remember to register yeah to register exactly. yeah yeah you told me yeah. to register <laughs> can i say what you said <laughs> <laughs> you told me so I'm going to work for that registration money. And when I get <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh god, let me laugh because right now he oh sorry. sorry. Oh sorry, sorry. sorry. I messed with the coffee. So that sorry, sorry. Oh my god. He was like Sally, you know, he came on my live and I I I, I imagine he was shouting, Sally, I'm going to get that five thousand. Let me work for them. And I'm going. Um, I'm going to come back. And I was like, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, because this is the time I had started asking registration, fifty euros. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, I felt like there were, you know, this this energy, the way he's uh, trying. I was like, should I let him not pay anything? But then I was like, no, let him fight. Let him let him hustle for this, yeah? because if he get the opportunity, he won't play with it. Yeah. And that's what he did. So when he passed the exam, he went and worked for five thousand. That was yeah. that's a lot of money in Ugandan money. Yeah. And um, and I think you are among my first people that I asked money. The rest have never asked money. It was for free. So, but you know, it's uh, thank it God just, you still got it even better because right now better. it's even much than that. Yeah. Exactly. So what happened? Why did I? Uh, so after you after you pay the money. I ask you about your motivation. The way I ask, I talk to you. First of all, even before I saw his motivation, I wanted to talk to him. And I yeah. remember I was downstairs. Yeah. We had this call. Yeah, yeah. And I told you, talk to me. Tell me about yourself. Tell exactly. me. Everything was German. We didn't speak English. Yeah, yeah. And then he had this smile. This <laughs> smile like you. Why is he smiling? You know? And uh, for me, what really moved uh me he gave him he gave me his his whole story why he wanted this so much and the fact he's speaking with me the last i think it was 20 25 minutes yeah yeah the fact you, you spoke to me the whole german i saw that I, I i was like my god i have to help this guy and then the message that he wrote me on instagram i think i was even with june and we even read together and i was like can you look this guy is so perfect hmm? well, like I, the way you even wrote it and then the you the way you are humble uh you know sometimes how you come to person i think that's what um because at that moment don't even think about money you are like i need to help this person because he is in uganda he has hustle because he gave me the whole story why should i not help him hmm? and it's your job you have done 90 percent my okay. job you have written he had written a, a lot of motivation even i told you to reduce it you remember yeah, yeah. it was too big and I said, hey you don't need a lot of motivation so he went and uh and and uh, reducing motivation and from there he gave me there i continued the process so for him was just to appear for the interview in german both times he didn't fail me he uh his 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 he, as in he he presented himself once uh, he had the motivation, I got an email uh, from the other side. Sally, that guy, he's so well mannered. He's so humble. He did it so good. And then the second motiv the second also interview, because at that moment, I'm not there. It's up to you. And that's why I'm so, so hard on people that I need to support. You have to speak German language because I'm not there. Sally will not be there. It's going to be you against you and your language so i think that's how um he touched my heart and i saw the hard work of eight months or nine months learning together hmm? oh, yeah okay for nine months i think okay now yeah. and i think we started your process around february mm, yeah january when it was ending ending to yeah. february yeah and i think by march i think for him it was god because his process was the quickest ever it was so quick Everything went new in Uganda. Uh, everything was okay yeah. with the visa. Yeah. And 
I felt okay, I did something, but I feel like 95% it was his work. Yeah. Because I didn't, I could okay, I corrected your motivation, but I didn't I didn't I didn't need to correct so so much. Yeah? Mm, because yeah, your yeah. German was too perfect, like too good. So okay. it is possible, it is possible for anybody, you just have to you just have need to uh to make a decision. Sally Klaus is there to give you tips. He watched my videos, there's a a lot of videos. Can you tell can you say about those videos? Mm, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh uh like what exactly? I used to, to like watch... what helped you, what supported you actually through uh my channel. Uh okay, for me, mm -hmm. you know there are a lot of YouTubers mm -hmm. who speak about FSJ. A lot, we are yeah. many. So for me, first of all, I am very sure all of you people who watch uh, this channel. I think you're the person who uh, who reaches to the person down there, like a person who really uh, wants something they have nowhere to start from, and you're there, like you you relate with them personally. You don't do it, like do this as a business, but you do it as a friend, like you're motivating like a friend. Actually, I should do as a. I want to earn money. I want to do as a business. <laughs> But I think you can't, your, your heart can't allow you. you. Do you know why? Reach down to the... Because I've been there. I've been there. I wanted to make it to Germany. Yeah, yeah. Somebody almost made this dream uh, go away. I fought it. I went to German school. I learned. I came here and I started zero. So I know how to want to change your life and your family life so much. Yeah. And that you know what was was my zeal. My my uh my dream was or it was always my imagination. If only that was so crazy, but that was always my imagination. If only I can help one person in a family or in a tribe, that was my goal. If I can, because when you told me about so I was like, I looked your family, I looked your sister, I looked your brother and everything, and I, if I can help you, I'm I've done my job. So it's up to you, yeah? yeah? Do you want to stand with your family? That is what was my goal. If I can touch someone or give someone, <laughs> my daughter like always, guess who Jeremy Monsaki has already ever escaped and Sorry, motherhood, it's always find me all over. Um, If only you can touch someone, or help someone to to be able to help someone or to help their family or to stand with their sisters and their young brothers because the way I did, I did. Can we can you can you continue a little bit? Oh, okay, what's your day? <laughs> Motherhood is calling me. I'm coming. Oh yeah. Continue. From the be oh, the host okay. now. Mama, don't... Yeah, guys. Okay. <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's it. Uh, yeah, for me, it was, yeah, I think it was motivation from within, and I kept the self discipline because there was no, there was no one to tell me that Andrew learn like the way you be at school, you're supposed to to make someone happy or your parents or the results. It was this self discipline that really uh, moved me, and yeah, and finally. I made it. I made it, guys. Yeah, so if you are really there, most especially my people from Uganda, like, guys, please, knowing this information and not putting it into, 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 into place, like, it is, it is wasted wisdom. If at all you know about the language, you know everything about it, and you don't do it, it will be wasted, and you will regret it. Because if you see now, people are moving and we're just there, so you will regret it. Yeah, so basically, that's it for me. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm finished. Come. What did you say? It was just quite so. Sorry, guys. Doing? My daughter, she's always having a a reason to come and take my uh, my attention so um, anyway i was talking about helping one another and you don't lack 
by giving people information, by helping people. Uh, but um, so anyway, let's go to the comment section because now my daughter just made my head go through. Uh, we are going to take the comment section of YouTube. So um, do you have a brother called Yonde? Leonde. Leonde. Leonde, no. No, he doesn't have a brother called Leonde. So, guys, thank you so much for coming up. I hope you guys are liking the video. And now let's let's um, answer the questions. I'll see the question, one or two, three questions. And then we can, I think we can wind up. Or oh, did we finish your story? I don't know. Yeah. Because uh, is this supposed to go up to when the visa process and all that thing? How was the visa uh, process? No, I like, I think the most important is what were the questions uh, during your visa? Oh, my visa appointment. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How, how did they want from you? Mm -hmm. They asked me what motivated you to do a pursuit. What motivated you to you do know, a pursuit? Yeah. That's a very important question. The interview. Uh, first of all, the first question was, mm -hmm. how did you know? How did you get to know about this program? Mm -hmm. And what did you say? Uh, I told them that I was searching. Mm -hmm. I was I was uh, at the internet searching about international opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I landed about on it, and I liked it. It touched me mm -hmm. because it is. It's all about helping people mm -hmm. and and it will also help me improve me personal mm -hmm. development so mm -hmm. it touched me and then that's why i got to pursue it okay mm -hmm. and then they asked me what motivates you what mm -hmm. motivated you oh do i remember what i said i don't think i don't think i remember what i what I, how i answered what motivates you to come to germany or to do episode uh, now to do FSJ, mm -hmm. yeah, for that to do FSJ. You can't remember. Lida. Sorry. You and then they they asked me, "What are you going to do after?" Ah, you didn't say anything. No, I say I said okay. I said I answered all the questions. Perfectly. Okay, okay. I, um, I'm sorry, I, I've just forgotten. Yeah, Zuri messed our life. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then, uh, what are you going to do after your FSJ of your private cases, Alessia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I told them I'm going to come back in Uganda and apply to a university of social studies. Mm -hmm. I think my FSU in Germany. Germany will help me get scholarship. That's a good tip. That's yeah. a good tip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was it. That was it. And in one week, I got the visa. <gasps> I remember. You one called week. me shouting, Hi, Sally, I got my <laughs> visa. I'm coming to Germany. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really a, a hassle. So let's go to the questions. Um, okay, you've been here one four five weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah, you said five. Six. Six weeks. Yeah. You counted. Yeah. So in general, how is life in Germany? Super. Okay, in the flight he didn't eat anything. He got. I think we talked that video. It was already here. Yeah. He didn't eat anything on the. He he got. <laughs> This was so funny. He sat with the uh, three white, two white people. He was on the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. And now because the white people are not eating, he was like, "If white people are not eating, who am I to eat?" So he didn't eat anything the whole journey. I remember I picked him from the train, I, yeah, from yeah, the from train station, train station yeah. and he looked so hungry and tired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but th that's the story. Things, I think, yeah, get it, now. Yeah. So in Gen five. Maybe five words. How has Germany been to you? Because there are people who are coming here, they are struggling with language, they are getting depressed, they are they are they are sad, they are not make they cannot speak the language, they cannot. How has it been for you personally? Okay, personally, mm -hmm. I personally oh the the cost of the language, mm -hmm. I think I've not had a lot of problems, but of course uh, at at the first Aman Funk, it's uh it's it's not very, very easy with the language, but since I could speak, I could express myself, it wasn't that hard. And you know, and there is a way blended within my workmates and the people I work with mm -hmm. since I could speak the language. So we blended and so far. Are you the only black? It's okay. Yeah, the only black there. Are they treating well? Yeah, okay. Do you have women or men? 
Bu beydi. Bu. Bu da değil mi? Ya, benim bir mi? I don't want to say that, but there's something he told me funny, not something bad, yeah? Because now it's summer and people are really Oh. <laughs> <laughs> people are really wearing so funny. So it's funny, uh, you'll see a lot, yeah? You have yeah. seen nothing and yeah, he blended and we thank God for that. And yeah. So I think we have finished our questions, not unless uh thank you guys for following. Uh, we're gonna go direct to the question and pass them because we said before six we should be done. Our own from the Pale of Africa, sorry, well, but it has been a while. Kwani, kwa kiwani, kawani chimusajia. What does that mean? <laughs> Uganda, from you... Uganda, yes, Ashif yes, Habib, I... oh, thank you, thank you, and um, motherhood, yeah? yeah, but we are getting back slowly by slowly. So, um, hi, pretty faces. How much love from South Africa on the grind with the, the B? The B, Tabitha. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you, Akelo. Thank you, Nalubega. Mateo. Thank you so much, dear. Andrew. Nina. Hi, Nina. Kindly give them something. Thank you so much, Mary. Hi, Dams. Good evening, Sally. Andrew, we get dear. Maybe you should speak a little bit German. Can you speak a little bit German when I'm still starting the questions to choose? No, what should I talk about? Speak anything. Uh, we get it, dear. Oh, by me, I used Alice, Alice Schoen, yeah. Alice, Alice Schoen. We saw Alice Schoen. Yeah, when you in Deutschland lives, then it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Don't uh, promise Ale, people uh, like that. Alice, by us here in Deutschland, is ain't faction. Nicht be Africa, loyalty. Mm -hmm. Uganda, yeah, minority house, Uganda, mm -hmm. to vice talk. Oh, it's getting it. Aber by us here in Deutschland, yes, alles okay. So. Alles okay. Alles gut. Yeah. So in Uganda, Leute sind nicht nett. Ah, nein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nein, aber allgemein. Mm -hmm. Allgemein. Korruption. Das, das Leben, das Rek. Leben da in Uganda, yeah. Ist anders. Ja, yeah. mm -hmm. anders. He likes German. He yeah. likes Germany, uh, the kind of culture and everything, the way no. they do their things. Yeah. It's so much like it, yeah. Technology. Na sisi tuko hapa bado tuna struggle na A1. Each pin too. Feeling motivated even more than oh, thank you so much Johnny's world. Oh. Uh actually John Wild <laughs> is in Germany. Oh, okay. He came with zero German. So feel oh. motivated. He can speak good German actually more than Sally. Hmm? Oh, no, nice. she's exaggerating now. <laughs> and we are such inspiration hard work space at the end. Exactly. Thank you so much, dear. 9,000 for exam. One paper, that's too much. Actually, maybe he was found. And B1 is 1 million. What? Okay. What the heck? Okay, B1 is 1 million, guys. 1 million Ugandan, Ugandan money. Yeah. Hey, yes. Uh, it's, 20, it's 20K Kenyan shillings is equal to 90,000 Ugandan shillings. I think, or even more, I guess. Yeah. I, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But it's yeah. worth it, guys. Let me tell you, if you can invest that money, if you have it or you're able to invest it, you will never regret. Give yourself five years when you reach in Germany and everything going to be okay. Yeah? Be yeah. patient and everything going to be all right. Or, Andrew? Oh. After getting an appointment for FSA, what did you, what documents did you need? Ah, that's a good question. Maureen Zeri. Oh, okay. Molly. Hi. I think I know. First of all, what starts your contract? Thank you for being there. Mm -hmm. Your contract, first of all, and then uh, you're supposed to show proof of health insurance mm -hmm. in German. Mm -hmm. They send it to you and they give you the contract. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to show your language certificate, but mm -hmm. all you have more than one. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to give your birth certificate mm -hmm. from Uganda. It's supposed to come from NIDA. Not these other birth certificates that we use. It's from supposed to be Nira. specifically from Nira. Yeah. Nira is a company. N yeah, Nira is the it's the general public institution for 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 Uganda. Yeah, the, the, it deals with those things of birth and death registrations, national IDs. So okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're supposed to have that birth certificate. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have a letter of from Interpol, mm -hmm. International Police. That mm -hmm. shows you don't have anything, any crime. Mm -hmm. uh, you're supposed to, add, and of course, plus your motivation, mm -hmm. your CV, mm -hmm. your passport. 
And also, uh, there's in Kenya right now, they're asking insurance. They want to see how much you are going to pay. How much? I don't know where somewhere shows that how much you'll be getting from here in Germany. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah, they yeah. ask. Remember, and also insurance, like guys, by the, the way, contract, it's yeah. a must. Mm -hmm. For me, when I went to, I went there, I didn't carry that document. Okay, it's very but important. that document, you see, when they are filling in the your information, that that information is required. How much are you going to be getting? Mm -hmm. Your Olab tag and uh, yeah, so now there is a paper. Olab tag, their holiday. Like in Germany, let me explain there, please. Like in Germany, you are supposed to when you're working. He's come. He came here for one for one year. Yeah. FSJ. He was given a, a an Ausbildung or a FSJ for volunteer work for one year. Yeah. In this one year, it's a must. You have some like 20, 25 27, holidays, 27, day, 27 days. days, and they have to be shown. Otherwise, that can be a reason that that you're not given uh, yes. whatever you're not given. Um, now visa that document it's supposed to be documented now there are some documents that the trigger sends you mm -hmm. now these ones i didn't get from the student but i that document i got from the trigger mm -hmm. so if you get uh the fs to contract make sure that all the documents that are sent to you by the trigger you go with them mm -hmm. at the embassy because for me i didn't go with it i had mm -hmm. to go back at the embassy and bring it ah, in kenya yeah. it's a fire at least they gave you another opportunity okay um and it's the visa is free you pay nothing no uganda is supposed thank to god pay. oh everywhere it's no uh... you know uganda is supposed to pay next yeah they pay it also it's also their written visa requirements of the state it is 75 euros and who pays uganda embassy no mm -hmm. you you the applicant actually i had forgotten to say that you're supposed 75 to 75 euros money. yes you paid yeah visa fee ah no that's a, that 75 euros yeah you only wheezy. There's check Uganda. If it's there, it's documented it's written out in time. BFD and FSO, it's a visa free. Like you in, pay zero. In Kenya. But Uganda is supposed to they are stealing. <clears throat> anyway. To so long as they give you visa, euros. because even in Kenya, they don't even give those visas sometimes and they're not even asking anyone. Yeah, even but Uganda visa, you pay and they oh, can still deny you. Ah my god, that is so anyway. Yeah. Uh let's continue. Preparing for my B2. Coco, prepare. And when you're ready, let me know. I actually am looking for people who are who want to come and do hospital next year. So if you have B2 for next year, make sure that you, you see me. Hmm? Make sure that you see me <clears throat> for BFD. No, for B2. So Coco, you would like my support when you pass your exam and you can speak the language. Nitafute. Okay, B2. Uh, Sally have not yet got what? Hey, Susan Gatte, Mary, can you see her? Or oh, Olefa, please talk to Susan Gatte. Uh, Susan Gatte, please IG Mary, Mary Motel on Instagram. They should let you inside. I don't know what's happening. Hmm? Um, Sally, can you help me to appeal for my visa? They said they doubt if I will come back. Oh, you don't have a good reason. So, uh, Samuel. If you really need my help, come to Instagram. I will check. Yeah, you are Nganga Samuel. Exactly. But first of all, you have to register 50 euros, and then I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. Aya, right, next. Just for you to know, is it possible for me to go to get a chance for BFD this year? Coco Zico. Yeah, why not? Very possible. And that was the last question. Okay, <clears throat> in YouTube, yeah. So, um, uh, I uh, TikTok can I come with the visit visa, then come study the language when I'm there? Almost like not possible because visit visa, it's visit visa, and I always say in Germany, visit visa is visit visa, and you have to go back. Even if you have a husband, even if you get married, if in those three months, you have to go back. The problem is. People have been invited, <clears throat> you invite somebody, and they when they come here, they run away. When I invite you, and you come and run away, you are you have spoiled my opportunity. I will never be able to invite anybody. Yeah? So I'm going to pay more than 5,000 euros, and I will never be able to uh, to be able, because people, they, they run away. Yeah? They run away, they go a black. So if you come here to visit, and somebody has invited you. 
you have to go back because if you go back and then they see you have, go, you have gone back uh, uh you can if you come on your own <clears throat> with a tourist visa and you hide you have to start from zero that is no secret you have to be like fruitlinge you have to start from zero and everything you have to, whatever case it's okay but if somebody invites you please go back and then come back yeah, that's mm -hmm. really you can't falenga need. You can't, you can't falenga, not unless you're given five days. And those five days, even before you falenga, you have to let them know. <clears throat> what else? When you come those three months or those that one month, make sure you get her to you, you 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 can, especially if you can speak a little bit German, you can be able to to do something that will may, may be able to make you when you go back, you have a reason to come back. Yeah. Hmm? So yeah it's it's simple as that guys so it's already six did you use the schengen visa habari having met you on one the video with joyce okay so how do you help people to exactly get their opportunities here it's a good thing with that uh sorry dudes or Oops, okay. So I didn't see that it disappeared. So anyway, guys, um, on YouTube, thank you so much, guys, for coming. Please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, we are 64 guys in TikTok. Kindly go to Sally Klaus channel. This channel will not have helped a lot of, a lot of people if it was not there. So kindly go to the channel. Subscribe to support me. We are how many? 7,000? We are 7,000. We are getting to 8,000. Support me to get 8,000, yeah? This is a great information over 200. I have more than 300 videos, but I believe 200 videos, they can change your life because when I did these videos, I did them passionately. And as he said, I talk from the personal level, yeah? When I do these videos, I put myself in a situation, yeah? Why do I do this? People have been, actually two years ago, people started saying, you stood I start asking money, you start asking for registration, you should be an agent. But that was not my time. My time is now cooking, and that is what I'm going to be at the moment. That is what I'm planning. That was not my time, and whatever I did was purely, purely from my heart, even what I do right now. But sometimes, sometimes God forces you to keep on uh, going to the ladder, and I think I'm in that. Uh, so if you see me that... I'm not that busy. Just know there's something I'm coming up to. Just be patient. And yeah, and for those who really want me to talk to them, you have to register. I'm asking for registration. 20 euros if you need to talk to me. If you need me to check your, uh, to check your motivation or to see your motivation or like this guy, that is 50 euros because he need my support. He need me to help me to get a, a, a solution because they didn't believe me. That is like one month. So that one you have to pay. Otherwise, other question, everything, the YouTube channel. And yeah, I think that's what I have to say at the moment. Your last words. Oh, Mr. my last words. At Kwas. At So people, you are told <laughs> you how. never be able to explain. <laughs> at Kwas, Andrew. At Kwas, Ebuana, yes. At Kwas, Ebuana. So guys, you have the the zeal, the goal to come to Germany, honestly, you're supposed to do the work. You're supposed to put in the work. And you trust me, it pays off. Your personal uh, development goes higher, connections, uh, uh, you, you, you widen your, your opportunities, like see places. So you can't regret it, honestly. So just put in the work, study the language, what Sally tells you, everything will be okay. We are all like you guys back there in Africa. Right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and and don't 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 be afraid to invest. Invest when you have the money. Hustle. In uh in Kenya, you say uh pigama footy, like you have to go and work on the garden to get that money paid exactly. by what <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you have to do, do it. Yeah, because one day you're gonna come back and see right now he had made it. Maybe he has some bills to pay back in Africa. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe I didn't say. <laughs> I yeah, didn't say yeah. that is how it is. But yeah. sometimes we really struggle to come here. Yeah. That's true. I also struggled. Yeah, it was not easy. It was not easy to go to school. I used to pay a lot of money every month. I used to invest uh, 
thing. Uh, so anyway, I have given my story a thousand times. So I don't, you have not heard my story, how I came to Germany, how I was told to do hospitality. I'm telling you guys, if you want to come to Germany, go and do German language, speak the language and get, uh, inform yourself and then you can come to Germany. My time I was told I should go and do hospitality, hotel management and tourism to come to Germany. I don't do that, yeah. So people have struggled, but they never give their, they never give up, they never give their hope. So I think that was last. Yeah. Hmm? He really wanted to come to live. I hope now it was also nice. Thank you for yeah, yeah. forcing me to come live. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, thank you so much, Modern Jerry. We invited to go back. It's built trust between you and the German certificate uh, government. So, guys, thank you so much. Like the video, leave your comment there. Thank Andrew also for uh, for whatever, for giving you uh, inspiration. He's also on Instagram. You can follow him. Do they? Do I? Ah, yeah. When mm -hmm. you find me, it's okay. Yeah. You can follow me. <laughs> you can follow him. He's also yeah. Andrew Akutwase. Akutwase. Atukwase. Atukwase. Atukwase and... Atukwase. Atukwase. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Bye. Thank you so much. And Cheers. let's meet on the next video. Bye.